Hey YouTube, this is Games of Mine World, and I'm going to teach you how to make a simple piston elevator like this. And first off, I'm going to show you how it runs. And see, there you have it. There's no one over there. It's not as big as this one. It's pretty simple. And um, what happens is when you press, step on this pressure plate, pistons push you up the stairs, and as you go up. The redstone starts traveling through all the energy until it gets to the top, and that's your end. And um, this video, I'm going to make it a certain height, but you can make it any height you want. And I'm just going to make it right here. First off, you're going to need um, a pressure plate. Whatever material you want to make your elevator out of. Redstone, redstone repeater, pistons, and stairs. So first off, you're going to place your pressure plate right here. And if I'm ever going too fast, you can just pause it and work on it. You're going to make a back wall right here and make it two blocks high. It'll just be this. And when you walk on it, by the way, you cannot be moving. Otherwise, it will not work. But otherwise, it's pretty efficient and it'll work well. And next up, you're just going to put redstone right there and redstone right there. Bring it up over the block so it just looks like that and then you're going to add your brick right here put redstone there do this and then kinda just gonna do this first all that so that's what it should look like and then just bring a redstone and put a repeater here and set it at four and then now when you run on it the piston should be working. See? And then um, next up to get your stairs. We're gonna do this. Place your stairs right here because stairs don't harm the redstone wire. They don't cut it off. And for your next set of stairs, put your brick here, another brick back here, delete this, and put your stairs facing this stair like that. And then delete this. And now, to get the piston up, you're going to need to put your block right here, on top of the piston, another block right there, one right there, and right here, you're going to put your piston, like that, you're going to run redstone, and put your repeater right here, and now the repeater this time, and for every other time, it's going to need to be set at two ticks, so just click it once, and but every other time it needs to be like that or it won't work. So if you're, don't post bad comments if you, yours isn't working. Um, just make sure that that's right and check all this and it should work. And well next up you're gonna just keep doing the same thing for as high as you want it. And um, by the time you're done, you're just going to keep doing this. And yeah, when you're done, it should be working. And you'll have yourself fully operational elevator. And please subscribe if you want to see more videos. And um, I'll be coming out with more Redstone Engineering videos. And um, by the time this is over, um, just check it out, what your thing is like, your elevator, and um, see if it works. See how I was moving that time? Yeah. There we go. And just like that, I have an extra piston right there, that's why I fell. And um, this is probably the shortest video I'll find how to make it. Just continue this for however long you want your piston. I'll better get. See, these are all different heights. This one's the longest. They're pretty cool, and I'm going to be posting another video on how to make, um, yeah, I'm going to be posting another video on how to make opening doorways through pressure plates, like four bricks, and they just disappear when you step on the pressure plates. Yeah, it'll be pretty cool, so check it out, and, um, thanks for watching, and please subscribe. Thanks.